Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of Debugging in Visual Studio. In this video, we are going to study all the basic things related to breakpoints. In last video, we saw how to step through a code. Now, step through a code means what? Debugging single line of code at a time. And in last video, we saw how to step through from the program entry point. Okay, but sometimes we do not want to debug our program from the entry point. Okay, in that case what happens? You already know that till this particular point my program executes properly. But after that point I want to debug my code. In that case breakpoints are helpful. So let us see what is breakpoint first. So you can say Breakpoint is a place to purposely pause or suspend a debugger execution. Now, whenever you are adding the breakpoints in your code or in your program, remember one thing is you have to run your program in debug mode. If you are not running your program in debug mode, then breakpoint will never work. So remember one thing, you have to run your program in debug mode. In last video, I already told you how to run your program in debug mode. Okay. So, after putting a breakpoint, we can again step through a code, we can observe the values of our variable and then we can check whether a particular branch of code is executing or not. So for that purpose, we basically put a breakpoint. Now let us see where we can set the breakpoint. Okay, in our program, there are multiple statements. So on which statement we can put a breakpoint? So generally we can put put a breakpoint on any line of code like your variable assignment loop or the code inside the loops everything okay but there are some exceptions you can't set a breakpoint on method signature on declaration of your namespace or class or variable declaration if your variable declaration is not having any assignment or no getter setter so in these places you can't set a breakpoint. Otherwise, rest of the places you can set the breakpoints. So let us see it practically. So we are going to switch to Visual Studio. I'm using the same Visual Studio application that is console application that we have created in last video that is for step through a code. So same console application I'm going to use. So it has two function that is ncr and fact function fact function and ncr function and a main entry point that is main function so main function is calling ncr and ncr is calling factorial function three times okay now what i want to do i know that till this point till line number 27 my program executes properly. I do not want to observe the debugging of these steps. Okay. So what I want to do till this point, I want to execute my program normally. And after this point, I want to debug my code. So in that case, we can set a breakpoint on this line. Okay. So to set a breakpoint, what you have to do? Just keep a cursor on that line. Then go to debug menu and here there is one option toggle breakpoint you have to choose this or there is a shortcut key also so in this way you can set a breakpoint so this is a toggle command remember this thing the so toggle command means what you can use the same command to set a breakpoint and same command to clear the breakpoint so just have a look i'm setting it now see it is showing the red dot here on the left hand side and even the entire line is also have a red color okay red background color now again i'll keep my cursor on the same line again i'm going to debug menu and here i'll say toggle breakpoint now since the breakpoint is applied here and it is a toggle command so breakpoint will be removed so this is one way you can take a help of shortcut key also so f9 will set up breakpoint or another way is that you have to place a cursor over here in this gray area okay and 
your pointer should point towards left side your pointer should point towards left side so just click over here it will set a breakpoint okay and again you can click on the same that red dot to remove it just make sure that your pointer is pointing towards left hand side okay in this way you can set a breakpoint now as i said you should you have to run your program in debug mode so we already know that you have to say start debugging not start without debugging if you say start without debugging in that case your breakpoint will never work okay so let us check it so i am starting the debugging okay i am entering the value of n and r see till this point my program execution was normal now where wherever there was a breakpoint my program pause here now from this point onwards i can step through a code so either i can say step into or i can say step over which we already saw in the previous video so if i say step over then what happened it will uh, skip the debugging of the function okay so this is your current execution so value of result is what 10 so in this way breakpoints are helpful so wherever required you can put a breakpoint and till that point your program executes normally and then after you can debug your code or even you can skip the debugging i'll, I'll show you that part also so let us say start debugging okay i'm entering the value of n and r so here you can see that your program has been paused and here you have an option of continue okay so if you say continue then what happened your next line of debugging will be skipped your normal program execution will happen or if you want to step through a code you can use step into or step over depending on your requirement that's it now here what i'm going to do I am executing my program without debugging and we'll see what happened whether our program get paused at that point or not okay let me uh, minimize this screen so we can check it okay so say 5 3 6 what happened we directly get answer so whenever you are running your program without debugger breakpoint will not work you have to run your program with debugging only in that case breakpoint will work okay so now see uh, as i already as i already told you that at which point we can put a breakpoint okay so this is normal uh, console read line application here you can put a breakpoint okay then this is normal arithmetic expression you can put a breakpoint this is a function call you can put a breakpoint but you can't put a breakpoint at a class declaration see here i am trying to put a breakpoint you can observe here see a breakpoint could not be inserted at this location lower left corner you can observe this message a breakpoint could not be inserted at this point if i try to put a breakpoint to my method signature see what happened it didn't show any message but breakpoint get inserted at the next line okay so let us see whether it gets set for the variable declaration see again it is showing the message in the lower left a breakpoint could not be inserted at this location you can't set a breakpoint here also okay so i hope you understand this that where you can put a breakpoint let me show you one more thing the for loop syntax has three statements one is initialization then next one is condition and then on the next line you are updating your value either incrementing or dec decrementing or you can performing any kind of operation so here also what happened you can put a breakpoint at three different different places so in that case what you have to do you have to select your 
see initially what happened if you say set a breakpoint here it will be assigned it will be assigned to initialization part okay but suppose you you do not want to put a breakpoint on initialization part you want to put a breakpoint on condition so you have to select that part then go to debug and say toggle breakpoint so it will be set to this particular condition on the same line so this is possible because this single statement contains the three different statement and we are assigning the or we are setting a breakpoint to that particular statement in that case you have to select that particular text okay now uh, let us see one more thing we have a breakpoint window also in debug menu just switch to window menu window sub menu and here you can see breakpoints it will show you the list of all the breakpoints in your project okay just mark my words it shows you the list of all the breakpoints in my project currently in our project there is only single file if there are more than one file and if the breakpoints are present in that file that breakpoints also get listed so this will helps us to switch that particular file so you do not have to manually search for that breakpoint location just click over here see okay now you are here so this breakpoint window will helps us to navigate through multiple breakpoints in multiple files in your single project okay now just assume that now there are too many breakpoints, right? You want to clear all the breakpoints. I already told you how to delete a single breakpoint. Just you have to place a cursor here and you have to say toggle breakpoint or press a F9 key. This is one option. Or what you can do, you can delete all the breakpoints. So this will delete all the breakpoints in your entire project okay so it will ask for the confirmation since we are deleting all the breakpoints from entire projects okay so it's done so all the breakpoints are removed now we'll see how to enable and disable the breakpoint now assume the scenario that you set a breakpoint in your code then you use that breakpoint to step through a code okay ensure that your code executes properly okay and for time being you do not want to use that breakpoint after that you do not want to use that breakpoint but later you may need that breakpoint okay for to test a particular scenario or to post a particular condition okay so in that case what happened if we delete the breakpoint we have to set the breakpoint again and we may since this code is very small right you can you can remember where to put a breakpoint but whenever you are working on any complex project we might forgot that where we did where we put a breakpoint at that time so in that case what happened there is one good feature and that is that will allows you to disable your breakpoints temporarily so if you click on this option what happened your breakpoint get di disabled and you can execute your code normally okay without debugging but later on whenever you need that breakpoint what you can do you can simply go to this menu and you can enable all these breakpoints so this option allows you to disable all or enable all breakpoints if there are some breakpoints and you want to disable that particular breakpoint only in that case what you can do just place a cursor over there okay it should point towards left right click over here and say disable breakpoint so this particular breakpoint will be disabled while debugging means your program will not stop at this point now if you again check the menu it has added both the option enable all breakpoints and disable all breakpoints because now our code contains some break some enabled breakpoint and some disable breakpoints so through this menu again you can decide whether you want to enable all breakpoints or whether you want to disable all breakpoints again at individual level also you can enable it again right click over here and say enable breakpoints okay so i hope 
you understand the concept of breakpoint and definitely you can use the breakpoints by debugging your code efficiently. Thank you for watching.